There is a common health condition that impacts millions of women in the United States as close to six and a half million. We're talking about endometriosis. WFNY News News Taylor Leverett joins us live. Taylor, you spoke with a woman who was diagnosed despite not having all the typical symptoms. That's correct, Lauren. And at one point in time, patient Latasha Scott said that endometriosis was simply a word she saw in books and online articles, but she quickly realized that it would become her diagnosis. Call it intuition. I went in for um, a procedure for a myomectomy to have urine fibroids removed. Patient Latasha Scott asked her doctor to test for endometriosis. And he did look and they did find a very small trace of endometriosis, which was removed um, during the procedure. According to clevelandclinic.com, endometriosis is a condition where tissue similar to the lining of a uterus grows on other parts of the body. This can cause extreme pelvic pain, pain during intercourse and heavy periods. Scott said she did not have pain, however. The biggest symptom that I would say I have dealt with is the heavy menstrual cycles um, and then the longevity of my menstrual cycles in addition to the uterine fibroids. Um, endometriosis has been around for a very long time. While the condition is not new, there is a growing awareness about the issue. What we're finding is that between earlier detection, like I said, those age groups, we now know what we're looking for um, and more patients just coming in to actually find out that that's what they have is leading to that that higher um, incidence that we're seeing right now. It's not that more people are being affected, it's just that more people are actually being tested for it now. Today, the North Carolina A&T alum, Scott, is a social worker in maternal and fetal health. She says she encourages women to be their own patient advocate and to speak up if something does not feel right. Trust your intuition. Let them know what's going on, um, even if it, seems normal to you, it may not be normal. So speak up, advocate for yourself, don't stop, get second opinions, and listen to your provider. If you have any of the symptoms uh, listed in the story, please do not hesitate to reach out to your provider to be tested for endometriosis. Live in Burlington, I'm Taylor Leverett, WFMY News 2.